All right, hello and welcome to the Game Fanatics Podcast. My name is Ben, and today I'm joined by Breezy. What'd it do? And Greg. I took the red pill. It was a mistake. <laughs> and how? <laughs> and today we are going to be talking about Walmart officially getting into the trade-in video game market for really no reason. Uh, I do remember, <laughs> I think it was like a year ago, they they were um, testing this out in a couple stores or something like that. Something along those lines. But now, starting March 26th, which is, you know, pretty soon. It's next week yes. when we're recording this. By the time this goes out, it'll probably be in the past. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, you can trade in your stuff, get a gift card to Walmart, which... As good as money, I guess. If Walmart has everything, then you're probably gonna need to buy another game in the first place. But there's a couple interesting things, I guess. I guess we could say interesting. They have an exchange rate calculator on their website, so you can see what the trade-in values would be. Just something I mm-hmm. think uh, GameStop, yeah, GameStop doesn't do. Or I think they do it for a couple things, but this is supposed to be for everything. I can't tell you if the prices are good, but it looks like you can get like thirty-eight dollars for, um, you know, Super Mario 3D World, Dead Rising Three. That's decent, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm? And, uh, it's, uh, I, I don't know how to talk about this topic. <laughs> I'm I'm glad used games broke you, Breezy. Well, no, no, no because like, <sighs> honestly, I my feeling towards used games is you buy a game brand new, take it home for, say, 24 hours or whatever, because most of these games you can beat in, like, a day. You take it back, and the motherfuckers say, like, it was a gift, you don't have the receipt, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers are like, oh, you know, your game is only worth 16 bucks, 22 bucks, 25 bucks. It's, it's stupid to me. And then, obviously, over time, the shit depreciates in value. Yeah. And so there's no point in trading in games at a certain point. I think what that needs to be is instead of a trade back pro- trade in program, there needs to be a buy back program. Like we'll buy your old game from you to sell back to the retail uh, to the original distributor, who will then sell the shit in like Brazil at like two hundred dollars or whatever. Because honestly, huh. and this is I guess it's mainly in the U.S. They do this trade back shit, but like we're really getting mm-hmm. messed over. With this whole trade-in stuff, because it's silly to me, and there's no real value in trade-in because they're like, okay, you trade your game in, you get 25 bucks for it, maybe, but that's only in-store credit. And then when it's cash, they're like, oh, you only get 15, and it's like, why? Like, and then they can't give you a good reason as to why. Well, okay, it goes hold, down hold so on. much. One of those reasons is free market economy, so we can't really. Fair. It's not really a free market when GameStop monopolizes every well, fucking where, and then you get you the get market. you get. You get Walmart, you get like the few play in trades or whatever, and their prices are fucking identical to GameStop. All their trade ins are fucking identical to GameStop. It's yeah. like there's really no free market here. It's just, okay, they did it what? this way. I'm going to copy it because I can't think of a better way to provide a better service than GameStop to the consumers. It's shitty to me, really. I like, there are other alternatives. Like, I have come across. I think it's Guzex. Yeah, like Guzex or something. Yeah, whatever. It's where they have it, name. where you list the price. I know it's fucking. It's the fucking worst Guzex. name. Yeah, anyway, but Guzex. anyway, they have it where you can kind of list your own price for the game you want to get. Yeah, do. and it's like you're trading trade, within members. Or you could do a free trade or whatever. So like that's a little bit better, and it's helping resolve some of the issues. But trading in shit at GameStop is just not worth it for me. And I I'm happy Walmart is doing this to some extent because I don't fucking fuck with GameStop anymore. Mm-hmm. But I really don't care because I actually went and I saw how much Call of Goody, Goody. <laughs> Thinking about Goose Goody. Eggs. <laughs> Call of Goody. Goody. <laughs> I think. Now that I would buy. <laughs> In the world where you and your goo brothers are. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no. All right. But I went and you I saw. You play Song of Revenge and the Heroes that Killed All Your Brothers? Hell yeah, I play Call of Goody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's just start track. Call of Goody, but the no. quest for booty. Oh, really? (laughs) (laughs) I'm done. I'm done. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I understand people's frustrations with this. You know, the whole thing, oh, I bought this game three days ago and it depreciated in value, you know, $25 already. But that's, that's one, how the 
market economy works too, you're still getting something back. It's if you're upset about not getting enough, you should just keep it and get nothing or get rid of it. Not, not really, because look at it this way. If I pay 60 yeah. and I go to trade it back in, it's 25, but it's only 25 if I use it at that establishment. Now, granted, they that's the way they have to set it up to make money yeah, for themselves. Yeah. I understand. But if I want to get cash, then it's like, okay, now we're cutting it by 20%. You only get like 15. You're, you're just upset and- at business practices. That and the fact that they are very shitty because I've I'll talk about that off air, but that's just like no. They're just meanie faces. Not really that. It's just I wish one of these companies would take a stand and say, No, we're gonna do proper trade in values for what the games are truly worth. They can't. Of- this is how they make all their money is on that. I know. That's why like, companies like Guzex and there was even another one at one point that was like this online trading program where you could you yeah. know trade swap games but honestly I think Redbox is gonna just fucking take over eventually well by the because... time that happens it'll will be like mostly digital anyway yeah yeah. I mean going off that I mean most of the games I buy are on Steam mm-hmm. um, I haven't bought a disc well that's all I, I bought a uh, <laughs> Tales of, of Symphonia Chronicles, but apart from that, most games I buy are on Steam, so there's no trading for that, anyways. So, yeah, but see, with Steam, I view Steam slightly differently because even within Steam, you have like the little hat trading program and the achievements, and there's what? some way to get a return investment on some of the games you buy. Yeah, not really. Yeah, but there's no way to say like, like hey, I'm done with this game. Does it, you know, like, like you can't like trade codes or anything. You know, like I'm done with this game. I don't plan to play it. But, so now it's going to sit in my inventory, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You can't. I guess you have a point, but I think it could be a way better implemented system than what they have right now. I think there needs to be a system that funds developers better, which you kind of alluded to, because all these used game things, it doesn't support the actual market that they're from. I think what... <laughs> we, that's a whole other problem. I know that's a whole separate issue. Yeah, yeah that's actually... yeah. That's an issue that needs to be addressed. It's not going to be addressed by Walmart, for damn sure. No. Walmart doesn't give a fuck. I think th- there's a big problem with Walmart doing this. I don't know if they're competent enough to do it. I don't think it... Well, <laughs> two reasons I don't think it matters if Walmart gets into this business or not. One, okay. they don't understand any type of anything. They're just like, whatever sales say, that's what we stock in the fucking store. Because I swear to you, I want to just... A fucking headset and I gave the guy the item number whatever this motherfucker couldn't figure out his ass from his toes and he couldn't find out the product was actually in the store he had me driving around town everywhere to all these different Walmarts all of them saying no it's not in our store it's in this store and I had to find the shit myself even when I gave them the product code whole another conversation all together well I think the so I know I think that goes back to Walmart's probably not a good place to, to do this I don't think any any place that doesn't focus On with games. real actual attention oh. towards what they're trying to do is a terrible place because even Best Buy had a trade-in program at one point. I think even, they still do. I'm not sure. I, I think you're right. I haven't gone but to even, a Best Buy. It, but it was, it was terrible as well. Well, Best you know? Buy and, is terrible. Yeah. And it's just... I don't know. I just... People, if you, because the only the only reason Walmart is getting, let's get to rest. The only reason Walmart's getting into this is because they're like, okay, we got a fuck ton of people buying video games. You know, when these Call of Duties and shit comes out, what is another way where we can make more money from this? Oh, I've heard a GameStop has a trade-in program. Well, let's see what that is. Okay, let's implement that, and that's all it really fucking is. Yeah, yeah. It could be good if it provides some kind of competition between the two. I doubt it provides customer support and proper customer support. I mean, even the fact that if you list that you have the original boxing with your game, yeah, it doesn't even really add even more value to what you're trading in, which I think it should. I think it should, too. That's why I've kept I cases it, before. <laughs> personally, I think trading should be based on three things. The condition of the product, um, okay. how good of a game it is based off of well, that's just overall kind of how people feel about it. Well, no, I'm talking like an overall worldwide type score. Because everybody feels certain ways about certain products. You know what I mean? Well, and naturally a shitty game isn't going to be worth much anyway. That's true. But even at one point, I could trade in Bulletstorm for 19 bucks. You know, so I, I still have a chance to make some cash oh, from that purchase. pretty good. Yeah. So, 
I forgot what the fucking third thing is, but you you guys should, <laughs> you know where I'm going with it. <laughs> Fuck. You really should be an economist. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It'd just be funny. It'd just be really funny. Greg, I know you you are more of a fan than breezy of trading things. <laughs> yeah, I mean after a while there's some games where you play through once and then you're you're done. And like like yeah, that was good. I got one to get out of it. I'm not an achievement guy, you know, so like as opposed to only it's you know, set on my shelf for all eternity. Uh-huh. I I'm not, I'm not gonna get a lot for it, but I may as well you know, just get a few bucks for it. I mean Yes, I could get more on Amazon or on eBay, but I'm too lazy to do that. You really, so, yeah. You're really not going to get that much more on Amazon either. True. So I mean, it's nice to be able to get something for it. Yeah. As well as just having to take up space in your room. So. There's some things I just want to throw away, but I can throw these things away for money. So I will throw them away that way. Right. Especially like game stuff. You know, if you're putting it towards something else, it'll usually give you like 25 percent more, which is you know almost makes it worth you know. Yeah, so it's only during certain fucking specials, which is also right. fucking stupid. Well, that's why you only go during the specials. You just well, don't. No, it should be fucking year round. Why does it have to be during a that's certain time of the year? That's how the economy year? works. Yeah, it sucks that's... though because now I have to go to your fucking store, wait in a fucking line all day long for some fucking jackass <laughs> to ask me, "Do I have the receipt?" No, I don't have a fucking receipt. Oh well, give me the game. Here's the game, perfect fucking condition. It's worth. Five fucking dollars, but guess what? Trade it in towards this. It's worth seven fifty. Did that? It, it, I don't want any other fucking games out your store. Just give me my goddamn money. Oh god, yeah. I hate GameStop. Wow. Apparently so. Apparently so. You know what you can do at Walmart though is you can just try and return things without the receipt and get the full value. They'll probably give it to you. <laughs> Shh! Don't let them know that. Then they'll change it. Walmart has to know this because people have been doing it for yeah. years. <laughs> when I worked at Walmart. A long time ago, someone tried to return a PS2 with like those off brand controllers and they were like shoved in the box where they're sticking out the side. And I looked and just look at them like, really? No. But these are the type of things that people just get away with is just like shoving things in a box and saying, yes, PlayStation, you take back now. It's a fucking GameCube. <laughs> it, it's, <laughs> it's straight up ridiculous. These people are out of control. I don't see how this. I can see this being successful, I guess, and making money, maybe, but it seems like too much. Like, Walmart already is doing too many things because they can't do anything very well. And this is just another thing they're going to do okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to take it. No. <laughs> We're not going to take it. I think I'll title this video Walmart versus GameStop. <laughs> you should. The end of the world. <laughs> It is, man. Like, seriously. God, that's so... That just... Oh. That grinds my gears. You just... Do you like uh, those pawn shows? No. Are like, you, like, infuriated I, by that? I used to be the sort of thing. I'm like, wait a second. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them. I prefer... Like, one of my favorite shows to watch... Very fucking random, I'm about to say. But there was this old show that used to come on, like, fucking the PB channel, like, PBS or whatever. And it'd just be some old dude and a bunch of old people in a room appraising shit. Like, oh, this watch oh, came from show. show. Yeah, so, like, that was cool to me. And the thing that That's pisses cool me show. off most of all about a lot of these gaming stores that allow you to trade in shit or give back shit or what have you, there's no real reason to do so when they should give you some actual value worth the shit you're trading in because like i remember when i traded in my entire playstation 2 collection we're talking almost 125 some odd games a system and four fucking controllers and all i got was 150 dollars see i i don't that's fucking ridiculous that that is but i've had nothing but like really good trade-in experiences but that and again and that but that that all depends upon the shit you're trading in, yeah. the time you're trading it in, and what exactly you're going to buy back from out of their fucking store. Yeah. And again, I understand that that is a business model that keeps the stores and the doors open and gets people hired in there. But at the same time, I feel like it's a slap in the face to us when no. we're the ones going out. It, I feel like it is, but though. You're, you're because... the, not following their rules. They're telling you when you could make more money from them, and you're choosing to be angry at them not giving you extra money all the time. 
they're not giving me money. They're giving me they're giving me credit. Fantasy credit fun is not money. Bucks. Yeah. Credit is fucking plastic shit but that they say, hey, you can buy Steam store, you can use it. money with that now. Which is what I do. If I get it to get Steam money, if I use it to get cash, right? Well, it now don't depreciates do that. in value. No one should more. ever do that. But I don't go. Why would I need to go to GameStop to buy my Steam games when I can get on my PC and buy my Steam because games? Because you can have the card. All I'm saying is you can use that that store credit for Steam money. Have the game. All right. If there was a transaction, because I've it's been a while since I've been to GameStop. Okay. If there was a transaction to where I traded everything in and it went directly into my Steam account funds or something like mm-hmm. that, okay, cool. Oh. But to my knowledge. You can only use that towards games that are available on Steam within the store. Because I worked at GameStop for a short time. And we only put shit like, say, like a Far Cry or a Call of Duty. Shit you knew that was going to be multi-platform. Well, those are like, on the uh, store shelves. those are like download codes. Well, no, now they just sell the, the card. You can buy like Nintendo points or whatever. You can buy Microsoft points. So if you want it, you can transfer it. This is not really about the topic, but you can buy all those things with the GameStop funny money now. I am anti GameStop. Well, I, I'm kind of pro if they weren't so stupid sometimes. I <laughs> I, don't know, I mean, I recognize, I recognize the need for GameStop, but do you feel they kind of have a monopoly and they'll just go, hey, we're, we can screw you, however, screw you over however we want and there's nothing you can do about it because otherwise. Where would you get your games from? Okay. So, I'm, I'm going to yeah. add one thing to this. Okay. Just so everyone's not like Breezy hates the Last word, shit. Breezy. Okay. Because I've been talking a lot. Yeah, you, you shut up. I got a play and trade store, right? That came in a few years ago. Like literally four or five years ago. Okay. When the stores first came in, of course, they had specials and deals. But the coolest thing to me about this store is I bought a game. It wasn't exactly like, oh, you know, fucking everybody rushed out to the store and buy it. I bought this game. Six months later, I traded this game back in. I got $35 for that game. Mm -hmm. Six months later. You cannot do that at any fucking GameStop. For any fucking game. You could do it three months later. But what I'm getting at is, I mean, now that Play and Trade doesn't do shit like that because a GameStop literally moved like 500 feet from them and like all their prices have been Yeah, screwed them over. Yeah, so like if, like even their promotions changed. Like it was a thirty percent trade in. It was buy one new game, get two used games, half off. Which I mean, GameStop has it reverse, whereas buy two used games or three used games, get one new game for free or yeah, whatever, whatever the thing do. is. Yeah. But it's like they are hurting what could really be a thriving business for not just gamers but also devs and also the businesses themselves yeah. if they're given the opportunity to actually try and make everybody happen at all ends because like that play entry like i remember i pre-ordered uncharted and i didn't get like codes and shit and i was like yo this is supposed to come with a code call the dude next day i know i got five fucking codes and it was like that for everything i pre-ordered i was getting five extra codes for stuff which you probably shouldn't have done so i know i was getting probably a bit better end of that deal <laughs> but it's like there was a connection from me to this small business owner and making sure that what I did in his store, I got good value, I got good customer service, and if I wanted to try games before I bought them, I could do that. If I needed a system repaired, he could do that. You know, whereas in GameStop, it's like, we just want your money. We need you to pre order this shit. Here's this magazine you need to leave the store with, and yada, 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 yada. Because I've been in the GameStops back when I was younger. They would sign me up with magazines. They would sign me up with, like, fucking email. Not emails. Back yeah. then, it was fucking, like, letters and shit. So it's like, just, yeah. it's, it's too, like, no. <laughs> I, Stop forcing shit on me. I, no means no. I think you just don't like stores. I don't. No, I like stores. Stores are good. Like, Dunkin' Donuts is awesome. Well, don't try to return those donuts, Breezy. No, no especially, if you, especially, donuts. If you, especially if you use them. Yeah, what I've only fuck? had half this donut. <laughs> no, don't worry. You can't return food. Well, if you didn't leave the business, you can't. If you didn't leave the Yeah, you can't get leave and come back. No, nah, because then they're like, you did something kinky with this, didn't you? It's like, no, no. man. Yeah, I did. Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> don't right, you want to know? Get <laughs> out of the store. That's so I, fucking okay. weird. I'm not going to look at donuts the same. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I will. 
<laughs> I'm looking at the same way. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> I think this thing with GameStop being terrible and whatnot is not necessarily unfounded. And this Walmart getting into their same business could and hopefully will cause them to do something. At least change a little. Nope. You, you have no hope for society. It's not that I have no Watch hope. Watch it burn. It's, it's not that I have no hope. Walmart is first not going to take the time to figure out how to make people happy with this. And two, GameStop has like an iron fist, like Dr. Doom grip level on this shit. And everyone's going to have to beat to their fucking drum until somebody who has a way fucked well, up actually, of money I mean, does this shit right. Walmart sells more games than GameStop does, like by a landslide. But the gamers always go to GameStop for pre orders and shit like that because it's always promoted in commercials true. and ads. Okay, and all right, else. all right. That's true. I guess. If you don't want to do it on Amazon or something. Yeah. And most people don't know that they can go elsewhere and get all these other pre order shit. Because most people, even though they're gamers, they're not really on the internet like that. Well, most people, like, here's a pro tip. Most Walmarts will sell you games at midnight when they come out. And there's, like, two other people there. That is true. And also, you can pick up food. Yeah, and then you can get donuts. Perfect, Breezy. We solved all the world's problems today. I always go to Walmart when I buy my yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad we could do that. Leave your comments below on this video on how much you like donuts, video games, and Walmart. Those three things only. You can also well, not GameStop. No. You can also email us questions and whatnot to our email podcast at thegamefanatics.com. Follow me on Twitter at TGF underscore Kirby Link. Follow Greg on Twitter. The Indie Geek. Breezy is not on the Twitter. Indie. He's too busy eating donuts. Donuts! Oh, Dude, donuts is a way of life. Eating man. donuts in air quotes. Eating donuts. I'm not doing else anything else with the damn donuts. Mm-hmm. Don't you fucking insinuate I'm doing shit else with the donuts. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, this is bad, man. <laughs> Don't do this, man. <laughs>